<laughs> I'm dancing a lot. I do like a, a loud dancing. Sawadee ka. Hello, how are you everyone? Home today, cooking with me again in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm team. Guy, um, first of all, I would like to say thank you so much for you guys watching me. Um, so yesterday, I was cooking. Well, first of all, I would like to ask you guys, how you guys doing today or tonight? Do you guys doing anything fun today? Like I do my yoga, uh, yoga today, and uh, in the morning I, um, I have my leftover food, so I just do my yoga, practicing a little bit, breathe, and then I, you know, do homework a, a little bit, little bit here, a little bit there, and then uh, organize things. And um, so yesterday I was like cooking, you know, like doing um, papaya salad, which is my favorite uh, food. But tonight I'm going to make. Um, I'm going to make rice soup or you know something simple very easy yesterday was a lot of spice so today um, tonight I'm going to make just the rice soup very simple good for your stomach a little um, you know I need more carbohydrate but yesterday was really spicy a lot of herb and I want something neutralized I'm going to um, to show you and share with you um, how to make the rice soup today. So first of all, I would like to give you a mint. Today is the flower. <laughs> so I'm going to use mint later on. Um, so yeah, so um, the rice soup is really good, very simple, nothing fancy at all, very quick, really easy. So you cook the rice first. And then I'm going to use the uh, pork today. Rice pork, okay? And then I have the pepper, the one that I always use. I love it. And then the shrimp that I cook with my papaya salad. So I'm gonna use this one also. So everything is already the same ingredient. People think that uh, Thai food is really difficult to make. But uh, to my opinion, it's very simple if you know how to, you know, buy, you, you use things together. So I have a seaweed here snack and I have this one is the dry uh, pork. Mm. Here you guys have with me. Thai people love sorry I speak the same time I eat. Um uh, Thai people love snack and tonight uh, today I have this one snack for you. So many kinds of snack that we have. Um it's so good. And then I have my drink again, my high basket. I made this one last time when I went to Thailand and um, you can add a little sugar if you want to and then add a little bit salt. It's really good, very refreshing. It helps you to hydrating um, you know, your body, your skin too. Here you go, drink with me. This is so good. And I put it in a container like that. So I'm going to make yeah rice soup and then also uh, mango sticky rice. Is anybody... Um, your favorite, you have to tell me, okay? So this one, I prepare for my mango sticky rice first. So I use a little, little um, mung bean. You can use the sashimi or the black sashimi or the white one too for the, for the mango sticky rice. So I put in container like that. Like this guy. So just a few minutes, okay? So this one for my sticky rice with mango. So turn the light on. I like a little bit crispy. I want the high, the heat is really high. So again, um, yes, I got this, the mango is really, look at the mango yeah, for you. So I make rice soup today. It's very simple, very easy. The rice you already, Pre-made it the other night. I remember you need the uh, the rice cooker, or you can cook with like if I use this one one cup the rice, and then you always uh, my grandma always teach me before we um, you know when we were young when we cook rice one cup the rice we never measure because we never had the measuring so we use our finger we go like that so the you put the rice first and then you put the water so the water had to be above of the rice like that. So that's how we measure how to cook the rice and we know the rice done. But here is different. Everything is measuring. So I put one cup of the rice 
and then two cup of the water. And then also this one is already been cooking. Like I cook one only one week and then I put in the refrigerator. Okay. So how my mang bean doing here is really good. I almost forgot, but I like a little bit more crispy here. So I'm gonna make them a little bit. I like a little bit more like burn the side of the slightly burning. People think that um, uh, Thai food is very complicated and also very difficult to make. I think for my style, it's more like a simple, very simple guy. Like I bought things that I want to uh, to use and then I created the different dish. That's how the Thai. And also that for the rice soup, we uh, we have the uh, ottoman here. Thai people love to add, you know, different things on their food. So they add chili, they add lamb, they add fish sauce, they add they, they, they add anything. But here, of course, you, you if you add the sugar, it would be funny, right? But uh, but over there in Thailand, like they love to eat their snack. They have so many different kinds of snack that in Thailand is so good. Here gone. I forgot to turn this one on. <laughs> Hopefully the virus is not coming. Oh, oh, everything is good. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to turn that thing on. Okay, right there. I keep talking and I forgot. Forgot to turn the hood on. So my coconut, like this one, guy. So I add a little coconut in here. Not a lot. A little bit here. A little bit salt a little bit sugar so this would be go on my coconut sticky rice so I pre-made everything first then I set aside and now I'm going to make my rice soup okay so I have this one one cup two cup of water cup water so you put the rice first and then you put the water after you put the water and then I have this little radish it's the um, it's pickle radish in Thai called so they have the salty one and then the sweet one, <laughs> like this. I really chop it up. So yeah, use that one, like this guy. Okay. So this one have a little bit salt already. And then the shrimp. Remember yesterday I made papaya salad, so I make this one now. And then a little salt, okay? Okay, now I'm going to make mine. I have the pepper here. And then I have the cilantro. So I'm gonna marinate my pork before I add to the rice soup. It's very simple. Powdered. I use my fork again. So pepper and cilantro. Okay. And okay. Very easy. Pepper, cilantro. And then I'm going to add, this is the pork that I have, crab pork. And then add the crab pork and then I'm going to add a little soy sauce, okay? Just a tiny bit, maybe half spoon. And then maybe half spoon of the oyster sauce. Okay. So now I'm just gonna add, 
This is my marinade pork. So I put together like here. This rice soup is even like don't take that long, very simple. Have my right wing here. Right wing good. So I boil water and the rice that I already pre-cooked and then the pickle radish, the salty one or the sweet one, and then the shrimp, the dry shrimp. So now I boil them together. Everything is so easy. I don't know. Today I feel like a, even though the outside is really hot, but rice soup is really easy for me, you know, to make tonight. And then the sea guy. Look at that. Can you see? That's my pork marinade pork. And I'm going to make like this. Little ball like that. Before I put to the rice. So, okay. So I make like that. Little one like that guy. Like that. I know it's not easy time like this time for me, right? Or I mean this time, uh, especially this week, I feel like uh, the end of the month, we all have to, you know, take a responsibility for our finance and everything. But uh, but everything gonna be fine. I always believe that it's always, there will be another way, you know, the solutions. Just hold on to it, like tight. Like positive. Don't let anything that like hurt you. I was gonna show you how to do makeup today. Uh, and also that exfoliation for the skincare for the facial. But I think to uh, I think on the weekend that's what I have more time and I, I wanna do that on the weekend when you know like Saturday, something like that. So you can relax in. Even though some people still have to work at home on the week on the weekday. But the weekend might be easy for you know everyone to see. So I show you how to do my home remedy, facial and also the massage. Right? Because I mean now we cannot go to the we can't go to the uh, the salon or spa, even including myself. Okay, so they're doing really good. They're almost done. And I'm gonna serve with the rice. Almost done, guys. They're so simple and it's so easy to cook and to make. So that's good. Very good. So I let it sit and then I'm gonna add a little green onion and cilantro right here. Very simple and easy. So I let it sit and then now I'm gonna open my egg that I bought yesterday. So it's only like six or seven minutes. It's really good. So how's everyone doing? I was wondering. It's only me that have, you know, like things that I want to do and and catch up with all my, you know, friends and family on the Facebook. I have to thank you. Like I talked to my cousin last night and this morning. She's a nurse in Thailand, in my village where we grow up. She said that she is, you know, I mean, they really hard work. Her husband also the doctor and then I have uh, three cousins, they're all nurse and they all married to the doctor and the, the nurse, you know, they work together. So I'm gonna serve with this. And uh, I have to say thank you for them that they work so hard, you know, to, uh, to take care of us, to take care of the people that sick or they not eat good or they not live good to take care of themselves and they work a lot. Let me wash my hands and then um, 
So yeah, the rice soup is ready to go. Very easy, very simple. And now, I am going to make my coconut and then cut my mango. When I was growing up, my grandma, we have a lot of mango. And, my, and, and the mango that what we have, we just don't know what to do. So after school, grandma would do like all the one that ripe one, she will cook them, you know, and then after that we put in the, we let it dry outside and then we roll it. We keep it for a year. Because we, uh, that's all snack. And then she preserved them. She preserved them. So she dry it out, you know, she put she cook them and then she dry it out and then she roll it them. Like keep it for us for eat long time. Grandma is the best when I grow up. She teach me a lot. Like how to be, you know, like a good person and also like work hard nothing for free you know she told me she said you work hard today one day you will be you know your future will be good it doesn't matter what life take you you know how to do it she said and she and she's right so we try this mango how that Mmm! It tastes really good. So I already need that one for two people. We don't need much. I'm gonna save them later on for the tomorrow morning with the yogurt or something. <laughs> Okay, so all rice soup ready, and then now let's do the mango already there. I serve a little bit with the blueberry. And then the mints that I'm going to decoration with. Okay. I have sugar here. I have the egg with the rice. I have a little salt. Then I'm gonna pour this one. Okay, almost done. Then we can enjoy together. Tonight very simple, very easy. Okay, now coconut. So this one's sticking right, the one that I already made. Can you guys see? <laughs> so yeah, I know a lot of things going on. Um, you know? You heard the good news, you heard the sad news. Every day. You, you never know what's gonna happen in your life. Mm. So good. So what you guys been up to like everything? Since everything is happening, like I know it's not easy for all of you and um, even for myself, especially like at the end of the month. You're facing a difficult time, rough time. But um, I think we will we get we we'll, we we'll stick together, you know we we'll stick together. We will be we we'll, we'll be stick together. Everything will be good. Talk to your friend. Talk to your mom, your dad. Tell them how you feel. You know. Catch up with your brother, your sister. By how you feel, look at this egg that I'm gonna serve with the rice soup. Okay, so now I'm making my sticky rice and almost done, and then have my sugar right here. I 
and I'm gonna add a little coconut too and a little salt, just a pinch of salt. Coconut. Like that guy, my sticky rice, almost done. See? Almost. Nice, so very simple and easy, guys. Just relaxing tonight. I don't know what I do today, but I feel like I'm very busy. Thank you for watching me guys still. So high basket drink. <laughs> my energy today is a little bit low but but I want to keep my momentum going. You know what I do and I need to do it. Right? Meanwhile, sticky rice right, still cooking. It will be very good. I'm gonna prepare for the rice soup. Okay. This one, guy. Very easy and simple. Very easy and simple. Thai people love to add everything. My husband is already eat today, so it's only for me. But he, he but he gotta have a dessert too, a sticky rice with mango. So I add a little bit <laughs> onion and this one, hak chi and hom. Smell good. Can you guys see the rice soup? So simple. Then I'm gonna serve with the boy egg. Like that. Everything is already there. And then if you wanna add a little, you know, the seaweed, you can. You can stick in there when you before you eat. We have the rice soup there. All sticky rice right here, almost done. Very good. Yes, every day is always different, different um, expectation. You know, and also that uh, yesterday I got really, you know, one of my coworkers, you know, um, her dad passed away, and then that's why I, I feel really. You know, to think about that and everything is very sad and I could get over it. It's the, she's really, really great person and she worked very really hard. And um, I could imagine, you know, I could, Im I, I could imagine if, if that would happen to me. Um, especially that I, you know, stay far away from home right now and you need, you need someone, you need uh, someone to support you. So yeah, it's a sad thing for her, and, but we never know. We know, we know what we born, what day we born, what month we born, but we don't know what day we are going to, to go. So that's kind of sad, but um, she's a good person. And I just want to share with you that. My coconut. It's done. This one, sticky right? Little bit sugar and then salt. If you want more sweet, you can add more sweet and then coconut. That's it. Very easy, very simple. Right. So this would be all dessert. Good night. Very easy, very simple. Tonight is very easy. Everything is very easy. It's simple time. So my coconut, coconut sticky rice, and then I'm waiting for. <laughs> it's almost 
done. My rice soup is already done. With the egg, look at that. I don't know, can you guys see? So simple, guys. Then you can add the seaweed later. We know when we're born, we know what we're doing, but we don't know when we're gonna be gone. So, whatever you wanna do, do it. Things that did not hurt people, things that good for people, <laughs> you do it. So, um, yeah, everything you do, you know, whatever that makes you happy. Almost done! So we're gonna eat. We have the rice soup today with the pork. The rice is already pre-cooked and then marinate uh, grab pork with a little bit oyster sauce, uh, fish, uh, oyster sauce, soy sauce, pepper, and uh, cilantro and onion. And then uh, that's it. And then boy egg. And then that's it. Rice soup. And then you can have uh, ornament right here. Right here, you can add anything you want. That's how Thai people do. <laughs> so, yeah, almost done. I have my mung bean here again. Earlier, it was like I'm talking and I forgot. It was like it burned. <laughs> But now I'm, I'm gonna pay attention. I wanna cook a little bit more, like one minute more, and then be ready to eat. You know, I miss doing hair at the salon a lot, but also that cooking is another of my passion, so I enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. If anyone, you guys like my, you know, uh, recipes, anything you guys, let me know. So I will. Um, share with you guys so like that wash my hair let's eat together ready to go done now the rice soup with egg for tonight it's still hot okay and then you can add <laughs> seaweed you can add like that. You can add as much as you want. So right here guys, eat with me. Look at that. Can you see? Let me taste, it's so good. Mm. You add anything you want. My sticky rice with mango. Right that. Enjoy guys with me. So yes, again, um, my energy a little bit low today. Uh, my, um, you know, my coworker, she's, uh, you know, bad news, sad news, happy news, always. You never know what's gonna happen in your life. So uh, what I would like uh, you guys to do, and thank you for all the nurse and the doctor, or thank you for yourself, uh, love yourself. You know that they, um, they work so hard for you. They work so hard for us. And um, and uh, not in this moment, you know, in this now present, uh, right now, we don't know. We do the best. But uh, yesterday in the past, tomorrow we don't know. It's not coming yet. But today is, is today. So do the best. Love. Say love if you want to say. Say something if you want to do. Do something in the positive and stay positive. So let's enjoy before the food is getting cold with me. I have a rice soup, very simple, easy to make, and then sticky rice with mango, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Come enjoy with me. Thank you so much for watching me, and uh, I hope you guys have a good night again. And I'll show you guys uh, next time what I my knowledge and what my skill I know how to do hair and also the skincare and all that. So I will. I will share with you. I miss all of you and uh, stay safe and stay strong. Namaste. Happy, happy. Thank you so much.